So in this video, I'm going to talk about the new division rivalry rewards in FC Mobile and what you need to do and what you need to avoid. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it. If you go into division rivals, you will see that it is going to be ending in about seven hours uh, for me. And it's probably going to be about the same for you, six, seven hours maybe. And what you need to do is you need to go ahead and you, you're going to get rewards, obviously, right? You're going to go ahead and get rewards. As you can see, I went on a very, very bad run in head to head. I haven't played uh, for a week or so. So I guess I went on a bad run um, a week ago. Anyways, um, as you can see right there, I'm at 850,000 caps. I'm at least going to try to reach 900k or maybe a mil even if I have enough time. But as you can see, I'm going to go out and get some rewards, right? And I'm going to get these, uh, the, uh, these competitive points as well as advanced competitive points in the same language with worst attack in the same language with manager mode. But what you need to do is you need to go ahead and save them and you, don't, you should not spend any of your competitive points right now. Because if you go into exchanges and into division rival section right there, as you can see, um, we've got these rewards, but these rewards are going to be updated. These ones expire in four days. It does say right there on every single one of these rewards that these ones are going to expire in four days and uh, we are more, we are likely going to get uh, an update, uh, some updated rewards and we are likely going to get better rewards than, the, uh, than what it is right now. So what I would suggest you to do is just save every single one of your competitive points. Don't spend any of your, uh, any of your points and just wait uh, for about four days and in, uh, in four days you're going to get updated rewards. If they change, it's obviously great. If they don't change, then you can open uh, the same rewards. But they should change, right? They should definitely change because every single month uh, these rewards have been changing and these ones expire in about four, uh, in about four days right now so yeah this is what you need to do what i'm gonna do though is i'm gonna go ahead and spend 1000 of my competitive points to get 2500 gems i always say that getting gems for competitive points is definitely worth it other than that i'm not gonna spend any of my competitive points i'm gonna get quite a few i think uh this uh, this month just because i did grind manager mode as well i never even played manager mode before uh, before this season but now i did grind it and i'm gonna get let's see how many 3000 competitive points from manager mode alone i'm gonna get some from uh, worst attack as well i'm not playing worst attack either as you can see um but i am gonna get 500 i'm gonna try to reach maybe world class one in worst attack as well if i if i have enough time but either way I'm, I'm not gonna spend any of my competitive points as i said because it is definitely not worth it you're gonna be able to get a lot better rewards um later on in about four days or if you don't then you're gonna get same rewards and there is a chance for you to get better rewards either way i'm gonna go ahead and open some of the exchange packs now because they have been updated we've got new one bust and let me know down in the comment section if you complete this one busting card and if you did do you like him or not? Do you want me to complete him or not? Because I don't need a 94 overall card. Let's be honest. I don't need a 94 overall card. I've got one Percy. I do need to change one Percy. Even though he's great in game, he's just a 93 base overall card. I do have 95 and 94s that are um, that are untradeable as well. But yeah, I might go ahead and get some play, uh, get some striker from the market. Maybe I do need to change Hullet as well because he's 93 base and Jairzinho and some of the other cards. Frimpong definitely he's a 92 overall card as base. But either way, let me go ahead and open some exchange packs now. First, we're gonna open this 80 to 97 overall player packs. Uh, that is uh, the same for everyone. Uh, we're gonna get um, 83 overall Michi Bachuai. We're gonna get 78 overall card and the 75 overall Edward from Crystal Palace. Um, did we get a pack in here as well? No, we didn't. Um, we used to we used to get oh we did get a standard pack that we do have a standard pack sorry I can open the standard pack from MLS section as well so I guess we'll do it we're gonna get an 81 overall Genduzi and we have got some silver cards other than that um, I do I do need to complete some um, most of those um, MLS exchanges right to get those extra packs as well I do need to complete this but right now I'll have to use. I'll have to use all 82 overall cards and I don't need 82 overall cards for other exchanges. So I'm not going to do them right now, but later on, I am definitely going to do them. I've got 14 days still to go for this one. So I'm, I'm going to be doing that one later on. I'm going to open this 82, 97 overall player pack though. We've got 81 overall Gabriel CB day. So not a great pack there either. Let me go into the MLS section as well. Let me go into MLS section because we've got some base packs that I can open obviously, right? I haven't opened them for a very, very long time. So let me go there and let me open this. Oh, we can get 91 overall Mascherano and 1000 gems as well. That's great. That's great. We'll take it. 1000 gems and 91 overall Mascherano. We'll always take Javier Mascherano, this 91 overall version. And I'm, I am quite close to getting this um, this Insigne as well as MLS Mega Pack. Either, either way, we're going to open some of these uh, MLS base pl uh, player packs. 
and hopefully get something good from the first one we got an 80 overall that's worth 500,000 coins that's a lot for an 80 overall as i said like every single one of these packs are good value right now just cause all of these 80 plus plus overall players are going for a lot of coins which is quite decent anyways we're gonna open a third pack are we gonna get a walkout from this one it's highly unlikely we've got an 83 overall card that's worth 300,000 coins so that 80 overall was better than this 83 either way we're gonna open another one we got a walkout okay we got a walkout we have got a walkout it's gonna be swedish it's gonna be a striker isaac it's not isaac uh, i know the guy but yeah Gio Keris. that's an 89 overall card i knew him but i just did not remember his name 89 overall 1.5 million coins will take it 100 percent 81 overall danilo and a silver and a bronze card there as well we can open two more of these if you get one more walkout that's gonna be a dub we got a we got back-to-back -back walkout and this one is a rivals walkout um uruguayan striker this is cavani most likely no it's not it's merentiel cavani does play there as well but it is Marentiel. We'll take it. 387 again. We'll take it. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. In the last MLS base pack, not three walkouts in a row, which makes sense. These packs aren't really that great. Um, should not be that great either way. And can I open anything interesting there? Probably not, right? Um, cannot open MLS Ultra Pack just because I haven't played any of those matches yet. Okay, let me now go into exchanges and I think I can open some packs there as well. In Centurions chapter um and this 85 to 97 of us yesterday these packs were terrible for me so hopefully today they're gonna be quite good i'm not gonna put this 80 overall card because it's, it's worth 500,000 coins i'm gonna put this otamendis and here we go let's get let's get somebody great please let's get a 90 97 overall let's go we got a winter wild cards player it's gonna be french it's gonna be a central attack and midfielder from chelsea this is Nkunku, right 91 overall not bad not bad not a bad pull right there uh we've got 87 as well 386s and 85 overall card as i said not bad but like i'm never gonna use him right i'm never gonna use him in kunku and i can't put him in like 93 94 overall exchanges and stuff like that because we need tradable cards so it's not the best one either um let me go back and let me try to open this 88 297 overall centurions player pack just because i don't want to put um an 80 a 90 overall card in that exchange right if i get an 80, 88 there it's gonna be good there we go i knew it i knew i was gonna get an 88 or an 89 overall card so i guess we can go ahead and put him in this exchange again um instead of armstrong and we can put an 85 overall card i'm gonna put rivaldo these are untradeable and 80 pluses not gonna be putting in dudex obviously we're gonna put otamendis and some other 82 overall cards and there we go 85 to 97 overall player pack again give me someone good it's just a normal workout it's gonna be japanese it's gonna be a central midfielder this is endo he's 90 overall i think 91 okay 91 overall endo um we got 90 okay 89 mullin 89 william that's a better pack right there by the way this 85 to 97 overall packs even though you might not get something incredible i think these are still incredible value to be honest you're getting six 85 plus overall cards so that's that's decent that's very very decent as well um i'm putting we i've got exactly enough 82 overall cards to do, to do one more exchange so that's nice i'm gonna put munez there and then we're gonna do one more that's all good and we're gonna unlock and do one more 85 to 97 overall exchange and hopefully get something great we didn't get a uh walkout or we didn't get a, nor a special walkout it's just a normal one this is michael marino i'm pretty sure 87 overall only so this pack yeah this pack was quite bad